the center position, seven feet one inches, number seven, Chad Holmgren. And forward, six three, number five, Standing six foot five, number eight, Jalen Williams. At guard, six eight, number three, Josh Key. At guard, six six, number two. Glad you could join us for this special coverage of the NBA preseason. A great chance to look at the year ahead. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sidelines. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. The cell in the wing along with Johnson. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's Jones in at the point. And for the Thunder... Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Holmgren in its center. Always exciting to see two teams with bright futures, Greg. Young stars hungry to prove themselves. And Kevin, the hungrier, the better, if you ask me. When you've got all that youthful energy and ambition out on the court, very special things can happen. And so off the tip, it's Oklahoma City. A sell against Giddy. Now here's Holmgren. Guarded close. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Well, you love to see that. Holmgren keeping his eyes up and his options open. It's the sell on the wing. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot rate of baskets assisted it's a stat i really like it tells the story of how well you are playing team offense it's williams with the drive oh and he plucks it off the glass wow holmgren can't hit a sell against gilgis alexander kicks it out to jones Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Just five to shoot. So am the pass to Vassell. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. And Holmgren pulls it down. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. And the Spurs with possession. After Lou Dort's miss. <laughs> How about that move? Is foul. this guy special or what? Just love That's watching him operate inside. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Rembanyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow. <laughs> well, he's already seven and foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. And there's the pass to Johnson. With the shot. And Holmgren pulls it down. Normally he drains that. Teardrop shot, and good that time. Good decisions there from SGA. Tough, though, to miss a guy that open. Pass to Sohan. Over Williams. They get it back, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Got one on Holmgren. No question, he got bumped on that shot. The Spurs the shooting their second the and third shots at the line right here. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. 
First free throw is good. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. Williams, he's checked in for the Thunder. Now here's Williams. This is it to Dorch. Oh, good on that one. Good work defensively by Johnson. And Benyama with it. Williams picks him up. Pass to Jones. Williams against Wembenyama. Fades back. The Thunder pull it in. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Inside. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. I like everything he's doing so far offensively. Finding his spots, making strong selections. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. And the pass to Johnson. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Ren Binyama finds Vassell. Fires the three. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? First the footboard, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot a match. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Oklahoma City shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. And it's tied up with that one. RJ, after dealing DeJounte Murray away in the summer of 2022, the Spurs are intent, it seems, on rebuilding. Well, they did it right. And with the selection of Victor Webinyama, the foundation may be in place for another run. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Here's Osman. Now here's McDermott. Makes it off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Back to Williams. The alley play up very well done. No hesitation at all on the alley oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. And it's Osman missing. For Oklahoma City, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game up. Pass to Robinson Earl. Back to Gilgis Alexander. One nineteen left to play in the first. Here's Robinson Earl. A three-pointer is right on target. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Collins. Still without a basket. Passes it to West. Here's Branham. Puts it up. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. To the inside. Plays it up off the glass. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Spurs trail by six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Collins. He dishes it to McDermott. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. Hits it from three-point range. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Here's Gilgis Alexander. San Antonio with the rebound. And matching up with the Thunder here. A little preseason preview. Yeah, a good matchup. These are two teams that played each other to a draw in the regular season last year. It's a tie game in Oklahoma City. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter.
And we're getting back to the action. It's the NBA preseason here on 2K Sports. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Credit the game plan coming in. They've identified some weaknesses, and they are exploiting them. Spurs shooting for the game at 42%. The post pair of form will be Williams and Holmgren. Then it's Josh Giddy. Then it's Lou Dort. And it's Michich in at the one spot. That's the group for Oklahoma City getting going here on the second. The pass to Dort. Drives to the hoop. Pass to Michich. Six on the shot clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Craig, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? Sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. First one falls for him. And so he makes both from the line. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you very much, Kevin. His rookie year, Spurs coaches suggested that Jeremy Sohan shoot his free throws one-handed. He said, I thought they were joking. But the new form got his elbow under the ball and his percentages rose. Coach Popovich said a lot of guys wouldn't even want to try it, but he doesn't worry about what people think. He just wants to get better. Kevin? I can see it. All right, David. Thanks. Pass to Wembanyama. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second chance points in the league. Number five, the Spurs. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. Giddy the pass to Dort. It's not going to go for him. Good D by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for San Antonio. They trail by one. Back to Graham. Johnson outside. It's Vassell on the wing. Giddy defending. Johnson for three. And Holmgren pulls it down. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. San Antonio's gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Johnson against Dort. And it's Sohan missing. Thunder have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three second violation. Three man, he's checked in for Michich. Spurs also with the sub. Jones checked in for Devontae Green. San Antonio trailing here. Jones with it. He has yet to score. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Williams. Finish off the break. You gotta love his hustle. Leaving the defense no time to react. And all of a sudden that man was just on the other end. Wow. Now here we are watching Trey Mann break. And he's so skilled at creating with the ball in his hand. And he knows how to manipulate defenders. And he gets to his spots on the floor as well as anybody. Also quick to find cutters. So he's creating for himself and others. To the paint. There's Williams. The teardrop falls in. Williams has got four points in the quarter. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. 
just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the jump. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. Substitution on the court. Man passes to Robinson Earl. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Joe. Six to shoot. Fires from deep. Rebound San Antonio. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. And that one's good. Osman. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Now the pass to Robinson Earl. Wiggins surveying the floor. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Down low. And that one's good. Osman. Osman's got his third bucket of the night. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Here's Mann. Still yet to score. 107 left here in the second. And the rejection by Collins. And it goes out of bounds. Last okay. touch by Collins. For the Thunder, Williams comes in for Chet Holmgren. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Trey Mann. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Wesley's checked in. Two on the clock. Shoots from 14. Williams. It's good on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Spurs trail by three. Pass to Branham. Wesley with the ball. Passes to Collins. To the middle. Here's Branham. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Branham's got five. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Wesley against Gilgis Alexander. It's in. It's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And upping the intensity, SGA forces his way through the contact. Osman, the pass to McDermott. Osman. It's rebounded by Robinson Earl. And the activity he shows around the rim it, is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. It's a understanding of how to defend at the rim. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Thunder lead by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to this preseason edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny the Jet. A competitive matchup for Oklahoma City in the first quarter. Their field goal percentage was a robust 50% in the period. That's something they can hang their hat on. And so far, they're out in front, but not by much as we head into the half. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. They came out as the more physical team. You can tell they put an emphasis on winning the battle of the board. All of these bodies crashing the glass has given them a physical and a middle edge. Okay? Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, their bench production has been a major factor. Guys have been ready to go when their number is called. 
And it makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Preseason in the NBA, and it's great to have you with us. So it's Jones. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. It's a three-point game. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg, San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way. Here's who Greg Popovich is starting the second half. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. And it's Johnson in at the three spot. No, operating with some confidence inside. Holmgren knows that's his shot. Over to the wing. Rembenyama, right side. Back to Jones. Five to shoot. Johnson kicks to Vassell. Jones from outside. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got six rebounds in the game. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the field. Here's Johnson. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. The Thunder leading by seven. Pass to Dort. And he drops it in from the low post. Dort's got four points in the quarter. A clean start to the half for them, knocking down their first three shots. Here's Sohan. He's guarded by Williams. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Williams. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. Find the lane. At the line the for your thunder. Nice shot. Shane Gilgis Alexander. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. And this guy just does everything. Scores, passes, good rebounder. Just an all-around terrific basketball player. Johnson surveying the floor. There's the pass to Vassell. Shot clock at six. And just miss after miss right now. An ominous start to the second half. They are now... Oh, boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach... He has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Down low. Here's Johnson. The Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got eight rebounds in this game. RJ at 6'5". Keldon Johnson plays bigger than his listed height, don't you think? Yeah, Cap. Not only does he play bigger, but he's stronger than he looks and is willing to throw that weight around. He has shown himself capable of playing the three or even the small ball four if you need it. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Olmer. David? Thank you very much, Kevin. Oklahoma City is a franchise that has to have patience. Coach Mark Dagnold said, there's no schedule. That's the biggest thing. There's a way of operating that we're very confident in and that we're going to bet on. And that's developing, having a good environment, and trying to play a style that scales forward. We're just going to keep our head down. Kevin, back to you. And keep going straight ahead. 
All right, D.A., thanks. Williams gets the bucket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. San Antonio calls timeout. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not back down. In fact, he's often the one who initiates contact. You, you think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. A different look for Oklahoma City. Williams, he's checked in for Chet Holmgren. Jeremiah Robinson Earl comes in for Williams. And it's Michich in for Josh Giddy. And they get it. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. First person oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Wiggins is checked in for the Thunder. McDermott's checked in for San Antonio. And he's got his first chance at the line here. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two games, like baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel up big time. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Nick Dermott for three. The basket is good off the assist from Graham. McDermott's got five points so far. And here is Gildas Alexander. He's got 13. And the shot goes in. And the Thunder lead by 14. And this is SGA's role. He's out here to score and score often. Now here's Graham. Defense right on him. Pass to West. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. That is not a guy you want to allow open puts for rain. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Outside, Dort. Gilgis Alexander against Wesley. Five on the clock. Free throw line jump shot. They get it again. And a look now at San Antonio's upcoming schedule. And on Friday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Miami Heat. Then on Monday, the Houston Rockets will come into town. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. First free throw is good. And Oklahoma City making a change here. Joe's checked in. The Spurs also with the sub. Johnson's checked in for Doug McDermott. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Graham surveying the floor. Gilgis Alexander against Wesley. He kicks it to Graham. The three from Johnson. No good that time. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Here's Micic, Graham defending from the baseline. Collins grabs the miss. Now West passes it to Johnson. Shoots over Dort. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Aggressive play by Johnson. Pushing through the foul. Insisting on getting his shot. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he shot the foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. That one misses for Johnson. Shane Gilchrist Alexander, guys, has been on display for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back right after this. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? A lot of times, a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times.
thanks for being with us as we get going here once again a preview of the upcoming NBA season ahead. The post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Then it's Josh Giddy, and it's Man in at the point. That's the lineup out there for the Thunder. And the jump by Holmgren. Oh, nice slam by Holmgren. Love seeing him finish with force like that. Now here's Jones. Spurs passing it around. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. He did a good job of taking care of the ball in the first half, but he's been pretty sloppy since the break with it. The Thunder leading by 16. Williams dishes to Holmgren. Pass to Giddy. Win Banyama with the rebound. Win Banyama has got five rebounds tonight. Vassell finds Win Banyama. And the rejection by Holmgren. And what makes Holmgren so dangerous as a shot blocker, he does it on the interior as well as away from the basket. Outside, Jones. Second shot opportunity. A shot, no good. Nice defense from Giddy. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. With some arc, the Thunder pull it in. Holmgren's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it, just ugly, and that hasn't helped. Williams kicks to Holmgren, and that one drops for him. Holmgren! Holmgren's got four points in the quarter. And love Holmgren's rise and fire approach. This speaks to his level of confidence. And Antonio calls timeout. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. Jay Gilgis Alexander checked in for Trey Man. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. The pass to Johnson. It's Vassell on the wing. Lock at six. Over Giddy. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Pass to Joe. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Johnson with it. Outside, Jones. Takes the 13-footer. That one falls. If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Giddy against Vassell. And Giddy gets it to go. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Giddy against Vassell. Fade away. Rembanyama, no good. And Gildas Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Here's Holmgren. And the rejection by Rembanyama! And uh, San Antonio shooting poorly just 35% so far. Vassell kicks to Jones. Here's Sohan. Passes to Vassell. Outside, Jones. Buried from 15 feet out. Jones has got four points this quarter. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. To the inside. The kick out to Williams. 
Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Sinks the triple. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throw now. Pass to Sohan. Vassell with it. Inside, here's Wimbanyama. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And the foul goes against Oklahoma City. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. Ooh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area of the floor for them. And their passing has been great as well. Ball movement is key in getting good looks, and they've had that down tonight. And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility to the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines. That's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. four left in the fourth quarter of this one and, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident looking performance for Oklahoma City a few times this season turnovers have cost them but they really kept the ball under control they were both focused and relentless and while there was some nice performances tonight it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Chet Holmgren Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. And it's Osman missing. Guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Man passes to Williams. The pass to Robinson Earl. And the three off target. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. I, it just felt like once they had that lead, it was comfortable. They were not going to relinquish it. That about wraps up this first game of the NBA preseason. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.